Alrighty, watch fans. Time for another hotness pick, and Wing is, uh, I guess, still in the eggnog or something, losing his mind a little bit. Um, up for you today, depending on when you're watching this, is going to be the Android Anti Force. Got two different options. The one you're looking at right now is going to be the blue option, named after the dial and the strap. Incredible deal on this. 73 bucks for an automatic. In particular, the NH35A automatic movement, 24 joule, three hand automatic, 21,600 vibrations per hour set into this gorgeous 48 millimeter case. Again, that Goldilocks size that anybody can wear and I'm just holding it right there where you can see how this watch is actually measured. Now, very quick look at this timepiece. First of all, notice again a difference in color tone between the dial and the outer chapter ring where the superluminova filled hour markers have been set. Makes a really good look on that light dark contrast which I personally think goes extremely well with the black IP that's been done on the case and on the bezel that is a fixed bezel impact resistant mineral crystal hopefully you can hear that hands hour and minute hand as well as the hour markers have been done in superluminova not anything inferior the watch is 200 meters water resistant with a screw down crown very very comfortable strap that's been done on this 28 millimeters wide which is very wide for this case size. Now in this particular instance, if I can turn this a little bit for you so you can see it a little better here on the watch stand, is going to be a really kind of a, a small grain croco embossing that's been done on there. Red contrast stitching, which in case you didn't notice, the second hand as it was sweeping around is done in the red as well. A little bit of a dual tapering strap. It is very thick but very very comfortable. You can see it is a folded strap here referring to the sides not dyed. A little bit more of an expensive way to do it. You'll see it is a little bit thicker here and does taper down. Uh, this is going to be good probably to about an eight and a half inch wrist and I'll show it to you on the wrist before the video is done with. Very deep dish as I kind of move this over a little bit so you can see to the inside there. What I'm referring to is this area here, this outer chapter ring where you can see the hour markers. Very deep dish. As you're looking at this, and I'll turn it again for you this way, sorry for the glare, is going to be about 17 millimeters or so in overall case thickness. Much lighter, still under 200 grams because it is done on the leather strap makes it very easy to wear for a wide range of people meaning large wrists small wrists whatever it is that you prefer that goldilocks size makes it very very comfortable exhibition case back that's been done on this great stitching as well a little bit of an addition um, at the uh, 12 the 6 and the 9 with the roman numerals which helps take this up kind of a notch as far as dressiness or availability if you're going to wear this in a dressier situation. So this is option number one in that gorgeous blue. Hang on one second and we'll show you the second option. Now here's option number two which is going to be the black or black and red if you prefer that uh, that's fine. And again as I said just a few moments ago second hand done in the matching red because you are getting in this particular instance the same red stitching that's now been done on the same 28 millimeter wide strap but just done in the black now to me this is the sportiest of the looks that you've got going on here very much reminds me of a race car inspired look uh, that you see being done here my friend John would probably really like this if he doesn't already own it and yes, John, if you're watching, I got your email. I just haven't emailed you back. But enough of that. Now, one of the things I hope you notice on this, I know he's calling this black. But to me, the plating really comes off bordering a gunmetal finish. And by that, I mean it's a light black. 
as you're looking at it, especially in this shot, at least through my viewfinder, right in this area, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Everything else is exactly the same. Very deep dish. Let me get that turned so you can see that a little bit better. And again, we're referring to this outer area here where the superluminova filled hour markers are. You're getting the same uh, dial. Now, it's kind of a dual layer the way the texture and everything has been done on that. It's a little bit darker and harder to see in the black. And let me get some of the glare off of that so you can see it a little better. Let me try this way. Uh, almost a dimpled. If you think about like a golf ball, uh, you know, with the little dimples that have been done in that, a slight sunray finish, more so, more predominant on the blue that's been utilized on this particular timepiece. Again, 48 millimeters case diameter, screw down crown to assist with the 200 meters of water resistance. And again, from SII, the great folks at Seiko, the NH35A caliber movement. Now, what's so great about the NH35A, you may be asking? Well, one of the things that it does, and it's the bigger brother to the 25A, and when we say bigger brother, they added some features to that that watch collectors really like. First of all, when you unscrew this crown and pull it out, it hacks the movement, meaning it stops it, so it's very easy for you to set to the second especially if you say you wanted to track accuracy uh, against the atomic clock. Uh, you can wind this via the crown as well. Now, most of the Asian-based movements, which obviously this comes from Seiko, so it is a Japanese-based movement, you have to kind of pick it up, give it a shake, then set it, throw it on the wrist, and then you're out the door. This one you can hand wind via the crown. No, you don't really have to worry about hand winding it or over winding it via the crown. If you ever feel tension, don't force it, stop. That typically means something is wrong. But in this particular instance, you can go ahead and, uh, and wind it via the crown. The other is the rotor that's in the back of the watch. And I'll try and give you that, a shot of that here in a second. Winds in both directions. Now that is similar to the Edo 2824, the Solita SW200, and other Swiss-made timepieces which makes it more efficient. Now it's slightly more expensive to build because you do have to have the additional set of gears to accommodate that. But when I say more efficient, that means as you're wearing it, you don't have to worry about it only going in clockwise or as typically with the Japanese or Asian based movements, counterclockwise. Any movement of your hand, wrist, or arm while you're wearing this is applying winding power to the movement. Obviously you do have a date display here at the three o'clock position, right next to that superluminova filled hour marker. So a great timepiece. Now when you look at a price point like $73 for one of these, or you can grab both and save even more, pick it up for $139, um, you're getting two completely different looks on the wrist. But both of these can be worn anywhere short of a full suit and tie, in my opinion, on down, okay? So, business casual, dress casual, just casual, t-shirt and a pair of jeans sitting on the couch look, all of those things are going to work for you with this timepiece. Suit and tie, I don't think so, but hey, it's your watch, wherever, wear it however you would like. But the great point is, it's giving you a phenomenal price point. I would once again tell you, uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to find an automatic, especially with an NH35 caliber movement from SII, uh, inside of it with a very large genuine leather strap as this one has, uh, with the attention to detail using the Superluminova and the 200 meters of water resistance and you know that grade A black uh, 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 IP or PVD I guess would probably be a more accurate uh, description here for this price point. It's absolutely ridiculous. And with Passover coming up, with Christmas coming up, with Festivus coming up, <laughs> uh, 
it makes great gift giving opportunities. Maybe you grab the black for yourself because you like the sporty look. You give the blue as a gift. Grab them both for yourself. You know, money's going to be tight around the holidays. This is going to give you a great opportunity to pick that up. So as I said, I would give you a wrist shot. I'm going to uh, here in just a moment. But don't miss out on this deal. Hard pressed to beat it sporty look that you can dress up and dress down not something that you always find take advantage of the deal we've only got a couple of days and as always limited in quantities so it's going to be tough uh, to pick this up one of these may sell out get out from underneath you those of you on the email list know what I'm talking about but anyway time to the wrist shot okay here is the wrist shot that I promised you I threw the uh, black on my wrist for those of you that don't know is about eight inches uh, so you can see wears very very easily very very comfortably on the wrist I'll try and give you an angle that way and then show you also dual keeper system now I've got plenty of room to go into uh, this timepiece so it depends on how tightly or loosely you would like to wear that. Mine is very comfortable. I tend to wear my watches a little bit looser than most folks, but as you can see, it fits very, very well. Now, if you've got supersized wrists, this may not be for you. Yeah, you might have to pass on this one. would still make a great gift, but easily up to eight and a half, eight and a quarter without even thinking about it. Uh, it just depends on how you wear the watch. Just very quickly, I mentioned I would show you the uh, the movement that's been done on this with the exhibition case back. So if you allow me to pull my wrist out of that shot, let me bring this in and show you, get a little bit of the glare off of there. There you can see the exhibition case back. Again, hardened, impact-resistant mineral crystal that's been done uh, on the back and the front, by the way. But there is that rotor that will wind in either direction. That's why it seems a little bit stiff. So you can't thump this one. Sorry, let me get the glare off of there. You know, and make it spin. And that's because of the dual winding gears that have been set up on that. But anyway, your choice. There you can see it all in its glory again. 73 bucks, folks, for an automatic 200 meter water resistant timepiece with a genuine leather strap. That's a deal that's tough to beat. Thanks for checking it out. Appreciate it. Pick up the color or colors that you'd like.